Hi stars, welcome back to my channel. This is Lali. So for today's makeup look, I decided to go in with this beautiful glam look with the wing liner and it's perfect for Christmas, New Year's, you know, whatever you guys want. Um, but yeah, so I've been gone for like four months, um, but I've been like super like busy with school and work. I'm a full-time student and full-time um, worker. So it was definitely difficult for me to like have time to film um but yeah i really missed it i really did and so um here i am i'm back <laughs> so yeah anyway without further ado if you guys want to achieve this look just keep on watching Hi everyone, as you guys can see, I did my brows off camera, so let's get started. Today for moisturizer, I'm going in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And I swear I've been loving this so much lately, especially now during winter. My face tends to go on the more drier side, and this is super hydrating. So if you guys like suffer from that, um, I really, really recommend it. But anyway, moving on to eye cream. Today I'm going in with the Puffy Eye Attack from Soap and Glory. And this is supposed to help eliminate dark circles and puffiness around the eye area. Um, after that is done, I'm going in with the, the Pore Fresh Pore Professional Primer uh, by Benefit. You guys know I love this. I'm super obsessed with it and I always, always use it. After all my face is done, I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and this is in the shade Medium and I'm going to prime my eyelids with this. Um, I did grab just a random like Wet n Wild brush to blend all that out. For eyeshadow today, I'm going in with the James Charles in collaboration with Morphe palette and the first shade I go in with is called Tune. And I just grabbed a uh, Wet n Wild blending brush to apply this all over my lid i mostly use it just to set my eye in place after that is done i go in with the shade called ring light and i apply it on my brow bone i used the uh, morphe m431 brush to do that and afterwards i went in with the shade called you're kidding um i love this shade and the brush i used um is this like blending brush from a brush set i bought on amazon a long time ago um i started off with this brush just because i didn't want the shade to be super pigmented at first i wanted to make sure it was very like light and well blended and then after when i was ready for um the pigmentation i changed brushes to the morphe m456 brush and as you guys can see i'm still using the same um shadow but it really matters what brush you use um you know to get the pigmentation required so um i was just going back and forth with these two um brushes to make sure um it was very well blended like on my crease and there was like a nice transition and stuff but anyway moving on so the next shade i go in with is called boutique and the brush i used was the, the morphe m506 brush i love this brush because it's like a blending brush but it's very tiny so i get to focus it um, um in places like um like my crease specifically like i just wanted to deepen up my crease um and that's why i went in with the shadow and i love this brush it's like literally perfect for that so that was all I was doing. I was just uh, deepening up the um, the crease. But anyway, oh my gosh, I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> anyway, um, then I'm going to cut my crease. And I'm going back in with the, the ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium. And I grabbed a um, flat brush from the Wet n Wild. I swear, I love these brushes. They're super inexpensive and they work beautifully so like always i like you know i put a little bit of concealer on the, the very bottom of my lid open my eye wide and it just gives me like an outline of where to cut my crease exactly
All right, guys. So moving on, I then decided to mix in the, the the shade called So Good and the shade called Face. I love these two mixed in together, and the, the brush I used to apply that with was the, the Morphe M One Five Two brush. After that is done, I decided to go back in with the shade called You're Kidding. And once again, I grabbed the Morphe M456 brush. And I just made sure to apply this on the outer um, edge of my eye. And I took it up to the crease a little bit, making sure everything was well blended. I wanted there to be a nice transition from like the shimmery shade to the, um, to the matte shades on the outer portion of the eye. Um, after that, I went back in with the shade called Boutique and once again, I grabbed the Morphe M506 brush to do that and I just did the same thing I did with the um, shade before. I applied it on the outer edge and I took it up to the crease a little bit. Moving on to eyeliner. So today I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Skinny um, Liquid Liner in the shade Blackout. So I am no expert in doing my eyeliner. Um, this is literally just how I do it all the time. And then um, sometimes I just keep like removing the like the tip off with the with the makeup wipe and then like doing it again and so i'm satisfied so i just i'm super patient with this i'm literally no expert you guys will see right now i was just lucky enough that it didn't take too long this time uh, but sometimes i'm there for a good 30 minutes <laughs> so yeah just be patient if you're barely starting with this you know take your time chill you know unless you're in a rush then i'd suggest don't go in with the wing liner if you're in a rush <laughs> but yeah anyway um this is how i do it and oh by the way this is a drugstore um liquid liner and if you guys are looking for a good liquid liner that's inexpensive i really recommend this so yep For mascara today i'm using my rimmel scandalized mascara and as you guys can see i did finish my other eye off camera for lashes today like always i'm going in with the ardell 113 lashes and the glue i'm using is my favorite which is the duo glue and these are all drugstore products and they're literally my ride or die and i really recommend it if you guys are looking for cute lashes and a good glue that's super inexpensive this is it guys and also walgreens is always having sales like for example i bought the um all these lashes and it was like buy one get one free and i could get like a glue and a pair of lashes and one of those would be free so yeah you guys be on the lookout um but anyway for foundation like always i'm going in with my favorite which is the maybelline uh, fit me matte poreless foundation and this is in the shade uh 310 and i always mix it in with the um mag strobe cream in the shade pitchy like i swear this is my favorite combination and i don't know i feel like it always gives me like a nice dewy finish and that's literally like my favorite like i don't like looking like matte I don't know why so if you guys like to have like a dewy finish i really recommend you guys mix these two in together For concealer today, I'm going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 
in the shade 145 and i'm mixing it in with the color pop no filter concealer in the shade medium um like i've said before in my last video if you guys haven't already seen it go check it out but <laughs> anyway um the milani concealer is literally like a dupe for the tarte shape tape it's super full coverage and i absolutely love it the only thing i don't like about it is like the smell it's like it smells like a ton of chemicals i'm not gonna lie but other than that it's amazing so um and it's like 20 dollars less than the tarte shape tape but yeah and by the way if you guys are wondering uh i'm using the morphe uh beauty sponge um this is the one that came in with the james charles brush set just in case you guys are wondering For cream contour today, like always, I'm going in with the Maybelline New York uh, Femi Concealer. And this is in the shade 30 and um, I think the name is Cafe. Um, to blend this out, I am using a Wet n Wild like stipple brush. I believe that's what these brushes are called, stipple. <laughs> um, if you guys are looking for a good brush like to do like the cream contour and, like, and blend it out, I really recommend this. Um, before using this brush, I kept having like like trouble finding something that would blend it out right and then at the end it would just look like a like a straight line and i would hate it so this is a really good brush for that um but anyway for um setting powder like always i'm going in with my favorite which is the maybelline new york setting powder and this is in the shade light and i'm using the morphe sponge to apply this with after setting my face for a second <laughs> um i used the morphe m527 brush to dust all the excess powder off to finish off the eye look i went back in with the shade called you're kidding and i used the morphe m456 brush and i just applied it on my lower lash line and then I grabbed a little bit more of the shade called Boutique and I applied it in the same area as well. And I used the Morphe M506 brush to do that. And to finish the whole eye look, I went in with the shade called Ring Light again and I just applied it on my inner corners because I love it. But anyway, for bronzer today, I'm going in with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And um, the brush I used is the Morphe E4 brush. I'm not going too crazy with it. Every time I cream contour, I kind of mostly use a bronzer to set the cream contour in place. For blush, like always, I'm going in with my Milani Biggs blush in the shade Luminoso. And the uh, brush i used for this is the morphe 405 brush and to top all that off i'm going in with the mario badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and for my favorite part highlight i'm using the wet and wild in the sh highlight in the shade crystal high and the brush i used is the morphe m501 brush For lipstick, I am using the L'Oreal lipstick in the shade 982. I'm just using this to outline my lips and I used this random like eyebrow um, brush to do that. Um, I just wanted to outline my lips for when I used the lip gloss. So for lip gloss, I'm using my favorite, which is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lip Gloss in the shade Unreal. Alright stars, this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know I've been gone for four months, but the 
you know, giveaway is still going on. So whenever I reach 150 subscribers, I'm doing a $100 giveaway. So um, please share with friends and family and yeah, like and subscribe. But yeah, anyway, um, I will see you guys in my next video and hopefully I don't take another four months to upload again. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching and see ya.